Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and today I have a kettlebell legs and core workout for you. It is AMRAMP style, which means as many rounds as possible. So it's repetition based. We're gonna count reps. I'm gonna count some reps for you. You can always move at your own pace because the goal is to get through as many rounds as you personally can in the allotted time. So how today's workout looks. We have six exercises using a kettlebell or I'm gonna show you how you use one dumbbell to do all these exercises. You also have a chair if you wanna do a level change. We have some step ups in there. I'll show you a modification if you don't have a chair, okay? So you can do everything interchangeably. I have a 25 pound kettlebell. It's pretty hard and heavy for me. So I also have a 15 pound dumbbell to sub if needed for some of the exercises. Okay, you're gonna do eight repetitions per exercise on both sides of the body because it's a lot of unilateral, which means single-sided exercises. So you're gonna do eight, side, eight reps per side. I'll count the reps. You can always stick with me or you can go ahead and move at your own pace. You're gonna work through as many rounds as possible in four minutes, one minute water break, four minutes again, one minute water break, four minutes again. You get it, we repeat four minute sets times four sets. 20 minutes total, that's all you're gonna need, I promise, it's a pair of strength and cardio. We're gonna knock it out, it's gonna be a lot of fun. How we're gonna start is we're gonna get ourselves warmed up with just our body weight, and then we're gonna go through the, the six exercises with just our body weight, and then we're gonna jump into the workout. You got it? You with me? I hope so. Let's get started with the warm up. Feet are shoulder width distance apart. Big inhale, reach up nice and tall. Squeeze your core, squeeze your butt. Give me a baby back bend, open up the chest, the shoulders. Reach up nice and tall, open arm chest expansion. Drop your right arm. Small of the back, reach up and over, open up the core. There it is, nice, bring it back to center, reach up tall, other side, chest expansion. Take the arms to the small of the back, reach up overhead. There you go, nice, bring it back to center and just flap your wings out, flap your wings. Okay, today's focus is legs and core. There will be some shoulders in there because you'll have to hold that kettlebell in a front rack position. We're gonna go right into squats, so sit it back and stand up tall. Down and up, starting to move a little bit. Weight in the heels, right, can you wiggle your toes for me? Nice, right there, down and up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Down and up, get a little bit deeper with each squat. Chest is always lifted nice and proud. You got four, three, two, and one. From here, you're gonna stand tall. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. Clasp your hands together like you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Hinge, swing, hinge, swing. Opening up the hamstrings, the glutes. Our power for this movement comes from hammies and glutes, hips, hammies, glutes. Notice, this is a kettlebell swing. This is a modified version with no weight, right? Let's talk through it. Hips back, stand up tall. If I had a string on my head, my head goes straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. My butt right here. Biggest mistake we see with the kettlebell swing is this overarching, overarching. Don't go there. Straight up. Nice. Right here. Swing it for four. There you go. Three, two, three. And one, let's walk through the movements. Move one is a front rack squat thruster. So pretend I have a dumbbell or a kettlebell right here in this arm. I'm gonna squat and punch. Squat and punch right here. Four per side, let's go. One more here, switch sides. Squat, punch other side. Punch other side, you're gonna do eight per side. Nice work. One more right here. And then you're gonna go into swings, clasp those hands. Hinge, swing, hinge, swing. Shooting the hips straight back towards the wall behind you. Stand up tall squeeze. You have 20 swings. Everything is eight reps except for the swings is 20. Nice, give me four, three, two, one. Then you're gonna find your chair or your bench. You're gonna bring that into play. Pretend you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell right here. You're gonna step up, knee drive. Staying on that same leg. Step up, knee drive. You're gonna do eight per side in the workout. If you don't like the knee drive, you can tap it. Knee drives where we get that core, legs and core. That's what this workout is, legs and core, okay? Switch sides. Kettlebell right here, other side. Whew. Nice work. Drive, push, focusing on the glute that is on the chair. Whew. Nice. Now, if you don't have a chair or you can't make that level change, whew. okay, your option would be lunge, stand, lunge, knee drive, all right? Sumo squat, pretend I have a kettlebell right here. Sumo squat, you'd set it down, you're gonna hop front, you're gonna hop back, right here. Set down, get low, hop front, hop back, right here. Tap down, get low, hop front, hop back, keep going, tap down. I'm gonna show you a modifier, right here, stay loaded, walk up, walk back, tap down.
down. Get low. Walk up, walk back. Options. You got options. Okay? Now, single leg deadlift, lateral lunge. We'll go staggered stance. Tap down, lunge. Pretending you're holding a kettlebell or a dumbbell in this hand. Okay? Focusing on that front hamstring, taking it to a lateral lunge. You're going to do eight per side. Tap down. Nice. Give me one more this side. Tap down. You're doing eight per side in the workout, I should clarify. Other side. Staggered stance. Tap down. Now, if you're advanced and you've got this, you can always go to a single leg deadlift where you float. Float. Lateral lunge. We're going through this a little bit quick because it's just the warm up and it's body weighted. When I actually have my kettlebell or my dumbbell, it'll be slow and steady. Okay? You're going to move at your pace. One more. Right here. Nice. Last move, you're going to go to your back. Okay? Option to take the kettlebell overhead, or I could always hold on to the chair to stabilize me. It's eccentric leg lower. So I go down, two, three, pull in, shoot up. Lower, two, three, pull in, shoot up. Lower, two, three, pull in, shoot up. That's where the core comes in, right there. Trying to keep that rib cage folded nice and tight. Only lowering to the point where you feel comfortable. Okay, one more. Nice, you got eight of those. That is your move. So now you're nice and warm, and you got to walk through each of the exercises. Grab a quick sip of water. Okay, we're going to stop the timer. And then we're going to restart it because you're working for four minutes continuously, going from this one move to the next move to the next move. Eight reps per move per side, except for swings, that's 20 reps. Okay, so you option, stick with me. Option B, we're going to put all the moves right here. Okay, you can watch the moves and move at your own pace. You move at your pace as many rounds as possible in four minutes. Four minutes to get through as many rounds as possible. Now, your first move, back to that front rack squat thruster. So I would front rack it right here. You're going to give me that squat and press. This is a 25 pound kettlebell, a little too heavy for me, and it doesn't feel good on my wrist. So I'm going to use a dumbbell for this move. You can use a dumbbell or use a kettlebell. I'll show you how to interchangeably use both of them throughout this entire workout. So let's actually start in our right hand. We'll start on the right side of the body. You have eight squat with a thruster, and then we'll switch over to the other side and we'll keep going. Continuous movement for four minutes. That is the goal. We're going to start that timer. Four minutes on the clock. Are you ready? Let's go. We're on in three, two, let's go. Squat, press. That's one, two. You have eight total. Three, you're going to move at your pace. Four, your option is to stick with me, or your option is to take it at your own pace. Two more right here, and we switch sides. Nice work. Switch sides, up and over, right into it. Down. Other arm is out for counterbalance. Inhale down, big exhale, push. You have eight per side. Nice work. So I'm using a dumbbell. You can always use a kettlebell. We're going to go to swings. You got two more right here. Come on. Last one. Now we go to swings. 20 swings. I'm using my kettlebell right here. I'm going to go to the side so you can see me right into it. Hinge, swing. Okay? It's a Russian swing. So I'm just bringing that kettlebell right up to eye level. You have 20 of these. Each rep counts as one. Remember, no overextending. I look back at some of my pictures when I started doing fitness, and I was overextending all the time. That's where you get low back injuries. This builds strong glutes, strong hips. Come on, come on. You got this, nice work. What would it look like if I said four, three, finish. Two, last one. Nice, now I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna front rack it on my right side. We're gonna go step up knee drive, right here. Right, uh, right leg sets up, drive. That's one, two, got eight per side. Three, this 25 pound kettlebell, whoo, feels heavy. Remember, you could always take this to a step back lunge. You could always grab your dumbbell. Come on, three more. Nice work. Nice work, nice work, come on. Last one, switch sides. Other side, right into it. Quick transitions, okay? Am ramp, trying to take as few breaks as possible. You guys are almost to the two minute mark. We're not gonna make it through much more than one round. Your goal is to complete one round. You're gonna start where you pick up. Every four minutes, you pick up where you left off. You don't go to the top. Nice work. Last one right here. One more. Come on. Up. Nice. Two more squat. Let's go. Right here. Nice and wide. Set it down. Hop front. 
hop back, that's one. Pick up, set down. Hop front, hop back, that's two. Remember your option, always walk up, walk back. Stay loaded in that squat for me. Come on, this is where it starts to pick up the pace, start to move a little bit faster, right? Eight reps is gonna fly right here. Eight reps is gonna fly. And then we go single leg deadlift, lateral lunge. Slow it back down. Come on, come on. You got this. One more, one more right here, let's go. Hop front, hop back, grab it. Lunging to my right, kettlebells in my left hand. Oh, I gotta do my deadlift first. Staggered stance right here to the side. Your option is always staggered stance right here, okay? Working both legs. Let's talk through it. Right here, I'm working left hamstring, right glutes and hips. Left hamstring, right glutes and hips. This is slow and steady, okay? It's even slower, even steadier if you're doing the balance. Woo, see I can't even do the balance. I'll show you one balance right here. Last move, last rep. Balance, and down. Switch sides, right into it. Staggered stance, other way. Hinge, lateral lunge. Hinge, lateral lunge. Okay, so now I'm focusing on right hamstring and glute on the deadlift and left glute and hip. Exploding up, so I sit my hips back, drive off the standing leg, explode up. Eight per side. Come on, you guys, we're almost at our four minutes. Oh my goodness. Are we gonna finish, are we gonna get through? We're in the final five. Four, three, two, one, we've expired. Okay, stop, one minute break, okay? So now where we start is those eccentric lying leg lowers. Grab some water, okay, you get a one minute break. Grab some water. Like I said, you gotta fly. My goal was to make it through all six exercises in four minutes. We didn't quite make it, it's okay. Get a second chance, and a third chance, and a fourth chance. Right, we're starting on eccentric leg lowers. You got 30 seconds left. I'm just gonna keep my kettlebell and my dumbbell here, and I'm gonna hold on to my chair. You can always put your kettlebell overhead. I'm gonna hold on to my chair. And it's three count on the way down, pull in, push up. Eight of them, it'll go fairly fast, and then we go right back to the front with those squat thrusters, single arm. You got 10 seconds here, set it up. On your back if you're with me. If you made it farther than me, good for you. Legs are up, you're on. In three, two, let's go. So I lower the legs down, two, three, pull in, push up, that's one. Okay, keeping the rib cage folded in tight, trying not to let my rib cage expand or my belly come into a cone or a dome shape, only going to the point where I feel my rib cage start to pop off the mat. <sighs> nice work, lower slow, it's eccentric. Eccentric means slow and steady. This is your last one, last one, let's go. Pull it in, right back up, let's go. I'm grabbing my dumbbell, you can grab your kettlebell, put it in your right hand, squat thrusters. Come on, we gotta move, we gotta move. Eight, <sighs> seven, let's go. Six, come on. <sighs> we know the moves, can we move a little bit faster? Can we try and get through one full set? <sighs> come on, two more. Switch sides after this one. Switch it, let's go right into it. Come on, eight, seven, nice work. Six, you got it. Five, come on, go heavy, feel those legs. Let's go. Two more, two more. Right into swings. Switching it out, grabbing my kettlebell, right into swings, 20 of them. Let's go, hinge, swing, come on. We're gonna get through one full round this time. We're gonna move it. We're gonna push our pace. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your core. Stand straight up. My hips and my glutes are what move the kettlebell. My arms are just a vehicle to hold on, okay? Come on, keep swinging. Keep swinging, low impact cardio. This is gonna raise your heart rate right here. Come on, come on, let's go. Three, two, last one. Nice, let's go front racket in the right arm. Right arm, right leg. Step up, knee drive. One, we're moving, we're going fast. Two. Stay with me if you can. Slow it down, move at your pace. Halfway, halfway, come on. Right into it, we switch sides. You got it. You can always go reverse lunge, knee drive. Come on. Last one right here. Find my balance. Switch it out, other side. Ah, right into it. Now that heart rate's starting to climb, right? There it is. Now that heart rate's starting to climb. As we move, and we keep moving. Legs and core, 
Let's go, let's go. Come on, three more. Two. Last one right here. One. Nice work, sumo squats. Let's go. Right here, set it down. Hop up, hop back. That's one. Pick up, set down. That's two. Come on, we're cruising. Nice. Let's go, let's go. Stay in, stay in it. Halfway, halfway. That's five. Yes, you can. Stay loaded in that hop forward and back. You can always walk it. One more, one more. Come on, finish with me. Up, back, deadlift. Right here. Left leg forward. Hinge, lateral lunge. Right into it, you got eight of them. Let's go, let's go. We gotta move, you guys. We got one minute. One minute to get through these moves. I think you can. I think I can. I'm in it with you. Let's go, let's see if we can get down to those eccentric leg lowers. Keep breathing, keep moving. Right here. Nice work, two more. Two more right here. Switching sides. Right into it, last one, last one. Deadlift, lateral lunge. Switch it out, switch it out, switch it out. Going for that staggered stance. You can always slow this down and float it and do that single leg deadlift. One year postpartum and my balance still isn't great. Right? And I'm trying to push pace a little bit here. I'm trying to push pace, push pace with you because we gotta finish, we got 10 seconds. Come on, we're gonna finish this right here. We're gonna finish. Right here, come on. Finish with me. Three, we gotta finish this. You got one more rep. One more rep, timer's out. Finish it. Uh, one minute break. Nice work, you guys. Awesome job. Okay, well, we made it through a full round. We just didn't get back to our eccentric leg lowers, right? We didn't get back and get to do them again, but we made it through a full round, which is progress, okay? So can we keep that pace? Can we get back to eccentric leg lowers every time? That's my goal for me and you. Right here, grab some water. Okay, you got 30 seconds left. Breaks go quick. We get right back into it. Single arm squat thruster side to side. That was a fast pace. We're gonna try and keep it. Okay, actually, no, I'm sorry. We start with eccentric leg lowers. We gotta start there, we didn't do them. Okay, fast pace, we're gonna try and keep it. You got 10 seconds rest, okay? Let's get back to these, you guys. One full round, one full round. You got four minutes to do it. Four minutes to do it. Set it up, you're on in three, two. Let's go, down, two, three, pull it in. Right here, catch that breath. Starting on core. Lowering on a three count to the point where you feel that low back start to pop. Relaxing the neck and shoulders. They stay connected to the mat. Bringing the work into the abdominals. Sometimes I like my hands overhead. That makes it harder, actually. If your hands are overhead right now, that's harder. Sometimes I like my hands on my core so I can feel it. That's it. Eight, let's go, here up. Come on, dumbbell, right hand, let's go. Squat it out, squat thruster. Come on, we're moving at a pace. We gotta get through this. Two, come on. Am ramp. You go hard, you go hard, you go hard for four minutes. Four minutes is what I ask, and then you get that one minute break. Let's go one more and we switch it. Switch it up and over. Other side, right into it. Come on, come on. You got it. Stay with me. Two more, two more. Last one. Grab your kettlebell, swing it out. Let's go, 20 of them. Let's go. Keep moving. This is where I stop talking and I just start breathing and focusing and doing the work. Putting in the work, just like you. Let's go crank up those jams. Play any music you want and just cruise. Do the work, do the work. That's what you showed up for. That's why you hit play today, right? You came to work. Finish with me, two more. One and two, let's go. Front racket on the right. Step it up. Whoo, it's getting swept. Oh, slippery. Kettlebell slipping all over my shoulder. Whew. I don't know about you, but I'm breathing heavy. So I like kettlebell training. It's heavy, it's hard. It's cardiovascular endurance in a low impact way, right? Last one, switch it up. Let's go, let's go right into it. Whew. Up and over, other side. Come on, drive. Whew. Drive, yes you can. Keep moving. Remember, you do not have to stay with me. You get to choose your pace. 
This is your AMRAM, your personal, as many rounds as possible. Two more. Nice work. Sumo squat. Let's go to the back of your mat. Set it down. Up, back. That's one. Up, back. That's two. Let's go, let's go. Yes, you can. You can always walk it. Come on. Halfway. You only got to do eight of them. Halfway, halfway. Finish with me. Come on. Yes, you can. Come on. One more, one more. Finish, finish. Let's go. Up, back. Pick it up. Deadlift lateral lunge. Right into it. Eight per side. Catch your breath right here. Catch your breath. Heart rate's high. This is where we got to finish. Eight per side. You got one minute to do it. One minute to do it. Sit those hips back. Explode up. Sit them back. Explode up. Come on, three more. That's six. Two more. Come on. One more, one more. Switch it out. Right into it. Other side. Always fun to mix up your workout formats. Right? Keeps it interesting. Keeps your mind engaged. Keeps your body engaged. We're gonna do it, you guys. We're gonna finish this. We got 20 seconds. We're gonna finish it whether or not. We're gonna go into our one minute rest, because I want to. I am that stinking determined, and you should be too. You gotta work for it. Let's go. Come on. Two more, two more. You got 10 seconds to do it. Let's earn that rest. Last one right here. Five, four, three, two. We did it! Woo. We did it, you guys. Nice work by the hair of our chinny chin chin. One minute break. Okay, that's three rounds down. You know the deal. Rest for a minute. One more time through and you're out. One more time through. Six moves, four minutes of work. You in? Four minutes of work, that's all you got left. Come on, you guys. Yes, you can. Grab some water. This is efficient home workout. Right? This is a tough 20 minutes if you're sticking with me or if you're moving at your own pace. You do you. Whatever you're doing, this is efficient and it's hard. We're starting on those eccentric leg lowers. Okay, you guys, one more time through. You know the moves. This is your fourth time through. Give me your best effort yet. You got 10 seconds. Set it up. Eccentric leg lowers. That's where we start. Arms overhead. I'm going arms on my abs because I like to feel them. You're on. In three, two, one. Keeping my hands on my ribs and on my abs really helps this postpartum mama engage her core, okay? If you've had a baby, you know how hard it can be to find your core after pregnancy and postpartum. Touching the muscles I'm working helps me. It really does. You do what you gotta do, this is what helps me. Come on, yep. After this, you're right up for scrap thrusters. Last one, last one, let's go. In, up, dumbbell in the right hand, kettlebell in the right hand, whatever you got, you got eight of them. Let's go, we're getting through it. Come on, it's our final set. We're finishing strong. We're getting through all six moves. Let's go. Three more. Three. Quick switch. Two. Last one. Switch it. Hoop, ho, a little dumbbell pass for you. There we go. Just praying I didn't drop it on my head. It's a good day. It's a good day. Come on. Yes, you can. Hoop, let's go. Three more. Three. Two. One. Let's go. Swing it. Swing it. Swing it. Come on. 20 of them. Hinge. Now, you guys. Like I said, I'm determined to get through these moves. I'm moving at a fast pace. You do not have to move at this pace. The exercises are on the screen for you. You get to choose your pace. I'm just here to move with you. I'm here to coach you. I'm here to motivate you. And let's be honest, I'm here to kick my own butt. This is my workout for the day too. Right here. This is it. I'm with you. Woo! Let's go. Three, two, one. Front racket on the right. Oh, step ups, find them. One. This is always where I get tired. Gotta tell myself, keep going. Four. Halfway. Halfway. It's that halfway point. Woo! Come on. Hello, legs. Let's go switch it, switch it. Right here. I'm breathless, I'm tired, I'm reaching that holy bananas. I'm reaching it, but I'm not there yet. You guys, 
This is probably, probably the loudest you've ever heard me breathe into the microphone. <laughs> Come on, two more. <sighs> Last one. Kettlebell training is for serious deadlift. Let's go set it down, jump up, jump back. One. <sighs> Come on. Yes, I'm in every rep with you. I'm doing this right by your side. Come on. We're in it together, you guys. We're in it together. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You were made for this. You were made to move. You were made for it. Come on, two more. Finish the me last one right here. Come on, deadlifts. That's where you catch your breath. Deadlifts. That's where you catch it. We're cruising, you guys. You are on a good pace. You are on a good pace. We got one minute to finish. We might even get back to our single leg lowers. We might get there. We might. Oh, cruising this round. Two more. Give me one more. Let's go switch it out, other side. Oh, I forgot my deadlift. Oh, find that balance. Okay? I like this workout because we do one side and then we do the other. Truth be told, we all have a lazy side. We all have a lazy side. So, breaking it down, eight reps per side. Make each side work equally as hard. Stay in it, you guys. Oh, come on, 10 seconds. You're so awesome. Two more. One more, one more. Finish with me. Down, up, in. Oh, that's it. One minute rest. You crushed it. What do you think of the AMRAM format? You like it? I'm just like, I can't catch my breath. I hope this, I'm dying. Are you dying? I'm dying. Are you dying? That is the question of the day. I'm dying. Are you? Okay, we did it. Let's cool it down. Awesome. Awesome work. Grab some water. I'm so proud of you guys. Whatever pace you moved at, that's your pace. And you nailed it. I'm going to be honest. This was a really fast pace for me. That was hard. I might show up on a Monday and I might do this and I might crush this and I might stay with it. And let me tell you, if I come back on Friday, I might be half time and that's okay. You can't be all out 100% every day. You just can't, you physically can't, okay? Don't think I am, no one is. A lot of stretching days, a lot of recovery days. Big inhale, reach up, big exhale, sink down. Let's find the bottom of a squat. Hello, legs. Yep, it was leg day today. Legs and core, I hope you felt the core built into every exercise. Keeping that head and heart elevated because my heart rate is high. Okay, from here you're gonna push right back onto your bottom. That's nice, right? That's what you were looking for. Okay, keep one leg out, up and over with the other leg. Pull it in, give your knee a nice little hug, lift it up off the ground. Stretch this outer glute. Lateral lunges, that explosive movement, driving off that outer glute. That's where it was. Woo, awesome work from here. Find a seated figure four, so you're just gonna pull this heel in, keep your ankle crossed over your knee, and you're gonna feel that more outer glute. Just hit that outer glute and just sit with it. All right, nice work, you guys. I always say this, but come back 24 hours after you did this workout and do this stretch. That is delayed onset muscle soreness, domes, right? We love it, because if you used heavy weights, you felt it, switch it out, other side, up and over, okay? you're looking for that delayed onset muscle soreness. That's why if you follow my 30 day or my 14 day challenges, we don't do leg day back to back to back. No, you do leg day and then maybe you do upper body. You give it a rest, right? You gotta alternate muscle groups. This was a leg day, legs and core. Okay, pull it in, slide that heel in. Okay, you gotta give those legs time to rest and recover so you can come back strong. It's like a HIIT workout. You gotta give your heart rate somewhere to come down to so you have somewhere to go. You gotta let your legs rest so they have somewhere to go. Nice work. Roll out that ankle, awesome job. From here, both legs go out. We're gonna hit those hammies. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me because kettlebell swings, a lot of hamstring. Deadlifts, a lot of hamstrings. Okay, so big inhale, pull my core in. I'm gonna pull that core in, pull my leggings up first. Gotta love high-waisted leggings. I hope they never go away. Okay, big inhale, reach up nice and tall. Flex your feet, point your toes towards your face. As you exhale, slowly think about pushing your hips towards that wall behind you. Push or towards that chair that's back there. Oh, there's that sunshine, it's beautiful. Hinge, 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 hinge. Keep your feet, keep your toes towards your face. Hold here. Do you feel your hamstrings? If not, push your hips back towards that wall. Hold for three, two, now collapse. Oh, there it is. Nice 
work, you guys. Awesome job today. You just knocked out that kettlebell workout. That is 20 minutes of pure fire, okay, with our warm-up and cool-down. Rounds out to be closer to a 30-minute workout, right? Nice work, you guys. Awesome job. I'm coming back to you. You crushed today's workout. Take more time to stretch. Ooh, hello. I just sat back, and I was like, there's my quads. Those got it, too. So make sure you stretch your quads. In fact, we have a 10-minute We'll link it underneath here. We have a 10 minute stretch and recovery. Awesome for the lower body, awesome for the legs. You can follow along with that as well. Thanks so much for doing this kettlebell workout with me. Whether you had a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you smashed it. And I hope you come back and do it again with me. As always, more workouts at nourishmovelove.com. Have a great day.